life or death decisions, criminal cases, enhancing our thinking abilities with drugs, all of these things and more are of concern to neuroethics, a field that lies at the intersection of bioethics and neuroscience. Dr. Judy Ellis is a world-renowned neuroethics figure who stresses the importance of having a strong ethics framework in place before developing the technologies with real-life applications. Here is a portion of Sasha Krichkova's conversation with Dr. Ellis. Is there one question in neuroethics that you're still kind of, you're asking yourself, but that's going to be next? Like you're waiting to jump on that next one? Oh my goodness. I wasn't expecting that question. <laughs> that would, might give away my next grant proposal. Hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's quite okay. Um, so here's a question I've been toying with, and it has to do with the proximity of young brain researchers to the diseases that they're actually studying. Was there something that happened that it was kind of a eureka moment or it's just been something that's been brewing as you're observing this field develop? This last idea? Yes. I was preparing for this lecture that I'm going to be giving tomorrow and I was thinking about my title Neuroscience Ethics and You which should really be more appropriately Neuroscience Ethics and All of Us and I'm thinking about new avenues. Mm -hmm. and, and this one came very much to mind. So I was very much inspired by my, my visit here. A woman in neuroscience, what should she know? Like from your perspective, from where you're at now? Boy, that's a question that touches on a whole other passion of my life. So I always say I have three passions, my family, neuroethics, and women in neuroscience. So you're asking about women in neuroscience, um, which has been such a focus for me, formally for about 10 years, 10 or 11 years, and, and prior to that, uh, it's actually women in neuroscience is probably what brought me back into academia, or one of the things that brought me back into academia. There are two really important things for women to be successful in neuroscience, and maybe science and medicine overall. One is excellent mentorship in the workplace, and the other is an excellent partner at home. And with those two components, all bets are off. Judy Ellis here with us, an internationally renowned author, mentor, and lecturer.